ChatGPT is still severely underutilized by a lot of YouTubers. So today I'm gonna to go through 14 ways you can use ChatGPT to help you with your content in all sorts of areas. And make sure you stay until the end where I have a bonus tip sharing a game-changing way I've learned to use ChatGPT just in the past week. So the first tip when it comes to using ChatGPT for your content is just to make sure you give it lots of background information. And you can actually do this in a little text box that you save in your settings. And for every future chat that you create with ChatGPT, it will reference that information. So all you have to do is go down to where your user account is listed, click the little icon here, and then go to custom instructions. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of information in here that I've pre-filled that I want ChatGPT to know about me. So I can reference that information anytime I talk to it. You can also put just here, how you like ChatGPT to respond to you. So I've just set it to respond to me in a conversational way. Make sure enable for new chats is selected and then you're good to go. So my next big tip for using ChatGPT is to make sure you give it lots of information and lots of context. This is a big mistake I made when I first started using ChatGPT. I thought that I could just type in a simple sentence and expect it to give me all the results that I wanted. But I've realized the better the input you give ChatGPT, the better the results it will give you. So here we have an example of a simple sentence that I entered. So I just wrote, write me a video script for a video about how to use ChatGPT for content creation. I don't give ChatGPT a lot of context. And so it just does its best to give me what it thinks that I want. And unfortunately, this is really just not what I had in mind. And it's just not really my style. Whereas if we go to this other example, I typed in, help me write a YouTube video script. I gave information about my target audience, who they are and what they want. I gave it the title of my video that I'd already chosen. I told it to give me 14 specific tips organized in bullet points and then also directed it to create an engaging hook at the start and then write an outro that directs people to my other videos and the result that I got for this prompt was heaps better it gave me some really good tips that I can use write a hook for me and a great outro and this is a much better starting point for me than what it gave me with a less specific prompt the next way to use ChatGPT to help you with your content is just to brainstorm video ideas and concepts I found this especially useful when I just have been stuck struggling to think of my own ideas and it's given me heaps of great starting points so i said i need some more video topic ideas for my channel and then i've given it some information about the type of content i want some more ideas for so i've said i want some ideas around what gear you do and don't need and then i've told it what my specific target audience is and their level of experience with videography and as a result it's given me these 10 different categories of video ideas and if i want to go further i can literally just say give me 10 more ideas and concepts around number three which is talking about audio solutions for new YouTubers. And then from there, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch more ideas just on that specific topic. So I could do something on different microphones. I could talk about reducing background noise. There's all sorts of ideas that I could just start to look at and start to use as springboards for actually creating some good content. Next up, you can use ChatGPT to literally write your YouTube video scripts. Now this has been totally game changing for me as someone who doesn't really enjoy the script writing process. And there's a few different ways you can use ChatGPT for your scripting. You can start from scratch or you can simply use it to summarize an existing script that you have into dot points so it's ready to present and ready for you to film. All right, so here's a script that I pretty much just wrote down as I thought it up without much structure or cohesion. And so what I did was I just said to ChatGPT, here's a script for a video I'm titling, the ultimate guide to YouTube gear for beginners. And I said, it's currently a bit muddled. Can you simplify it into dot points that I can use when I'm recording the video? And then as you can see, it's broken it down into really clear categories with really simple dot points that I can reference as I'm recording my video. And that's gonna make my content way more concise. Now, I actually just learned this quite recently, but you can actually use ChatGPT to create hooks using templates. Now, I got a template from Ali Abdul on how to create an engaging hook for a YouTube video. All I have to do is copy and paste that outline, that template into ChatGPT, and then ask it to give me a hook according to the rules outlined in that template. So here we have the template from Ali Abdul and it's just a best practice checklist and it gives detailed instructions on what a good hook includes. All I'm going to do is copy, take it to ChatGPT and I'm going to use the script from the previous example. I'm just going to say create a hook for this video using this best 
practice checklist as a guide. And then I paste that checklist right into ChatGPT, hit enter. And then as you can see, it's literally taken those exact rules outlined in the template. And it's given me a really good hook that I can then use in my video. And this is a really simple way to just nail your hooks if you've got a great template from a YouTuber that you trust and like. Another tip I found that helps ChatGPT be more powerful is to get it to ask me questions for more context. Now, this is especially handy if ChatGPT isn't quite giving you the answers that you want or you're looking for. All you have to do is just ask it to ask you questions to help it understand what you're after better. And this is a great way for you to give it the right information that it needs so that it can give you the best results. All right, so if we go back to the previous example where I asked it for some ideas around audio solutions, let's just say these aren't quite the ideas that I'm looking for. I can literally type in, these aren't quite the kind of videos that I want to make. Ask me some questions so you better understand what type of content I want to be making. And then it's literally gone on to ask me five different questions to help it understand. I've gone ahead and answered these questions and then it's given me 10 more ideas that are a lot more specific and a lot more relevant to what I personally want to be making. Another great thing that I've discovered ChatGPT can do recently is it helps me narrow down the main point that I'm trying to make in a video script. So for example, let's say I've written out a very loose draft of my script, but I sort of feel like it's going in different directions. It's not super clear. I copy the draft script into ChatGPT and then I literally just ask it to find the key theme and to help me clarify one key point that I'm trying to make in the video. And this has really helped me to stay focused and not overwhelm viewers with different points or confusing information. So I'm going to use the previous script that was muddled from the other example. I've pasted it into ChatGPT and said, here's a script with the title. Can you find one key theme or point that ties the whole video together? ChatGPT has analyzed that and it's found that there's a key theme in this video, which is prioritizing ease and habit over gear. Then from there, you can literally ask ChatGPT to rewrite the script with this theme highlighted and front and center. And this can really help to focus in your video script and help you avoid rambling about things that aren't relevant. Now, if you're a content creator, chances are you've got a newsletter and ChatGPT is great for helping you to write your email newsletters. Now, I've also found it's just great for coming up with topic ideas for your emails. But when it comes to writing out an email newsletter, making sure that ChatGPT has things like my target audience, my niche, and then a bit of information about the types of things I want to communicate. It really has given me some great results. All right, so I've started off by literally just asking ChatGPT to give me some concept ideas for my newsletter. And I've said that I wanted to help people who are just getting started or people who have already started, but are wanting to improve their video production quality. And it's given me 13 different topic ideas. And these are all great ideas, but I've gone ahead and picked number six, which is improving visual aesthetics. So I've said, give me some more ideas for newsletters around number six. Then it's gone on to give me a total of 15 ideas in that category. These are all really great concepts. So then I've gone ahead and picked number three, which is lighting techniques. And I said, give me a newsletter draft for a newsletter that can be read in three minutes. As requested, it's given me actually a really great starting point for a newsletter talking about mastering lighting techniques. And I can use this as a starting point to go ahead and then write a bit more detail and make it more personal for my own subscribers. Another thing that ChatGPT can do is help you to come up with title ideas for your videos. And there's all sorts of different ways you can actually do this. One way that I personally like to do it is to just collect a whole bunch of different titles that I found online that I really like, but maybe aren't exactly in the theme of my video. Paste all those different titles into ChatGPT and then ask it to give me some ideas based on those titles. So here are four different titles that I actually researched in advance that are doing quite well on YouTube in relation to ChatGPT. And all I've done is just say, using these titles, write new titles that match the theme of using AI for YouTube content creation. And as requested, it's given me four new titles that are quite similar to the original high performing titles, but are directly related to my personal theme of AI for YouTube. And again, there's so many different ways to generate titles with ChatGPT. This is just one way that I found works well for me. Now, this one is one of my favorites and that is to write YouTube descriptions. Now, I don't know about you, but when it comes to the very last part of my video making process, I've uploaded my video and I have to write a description, but this tip will definitely help you with that. So literally all I do is get a transcript of my video, paste that into ChatGPT and then ask it to write a YouTube description. So here I've gone into one of my videos on YouTube and in the subtitle section, you can see it's transcribed my video. So if I just got to duplicate and edit here, you can see an entire 
entire transcript. Literally, all you have to do is copy and then go back over to ChatGPT, paste it in, and I'll say, here's a transcript of a recent YouTube video of mine. Write me a simple one paragraph description with some relevant keywords included for SEO. Now, as you can see, it's given me a really simple but effective YouTube description. I can just literally copy and paste this into the description box on my video and then it's done. Another podcast related tip is to get ChatGPT to create talking points for your podcast episodes. If you have a podcast, you might have all sorts of different information about the thing you're passionate about that you wanna share and ChatGPT can just really help to clarify the points that might be the most valuable to listeners according to your target audience. So I just typed in, I'm recording a new episode on the podcast this week talking about why you need an email newsletter as a YouTuber. Give me some talking points I can use in this episode recording. And as requested, it's given me 10 really good talking points that I can use as springboards for a discussion around email newsletters as a content creator. Another way you can use ChatGPT is to generate metadata for your podcast. If you have a YouTube podcast, chances are you're uploading it to other platforms using something like Buzzsprout. And ChatGPT can give you all that information that you need. All right, so here I've taken a rough outline, which is basically just my notes for an upcoming episode. And I've just said, here's a rough outline of a podcast episode drafted with the title, Common Misconceptions for YouTube Creators. And then I've said, give me the metadata I need for Buzzsprout, including a description, a one-line summary, and keywords for SEO separated by commas. As requested, ChatGPT has given me exactly that. It's given me a title, it's given me a description, it's given me a one-line summary, and then it's given me keywords for SEO separated by commas that I can quickly and easily copy and paste right into Buzzsprout. Next, Next, you can use ChatGPT to change the entire tone of one of your YouTube scripts. So maybe you typically write kind of factually and a bit dryly like I tend to, and you want your script to be a bit warmer and a bit more relational. So here we have a script that ChatGPT previously helped me to write, but I want the tone to be a bit more warm and friendly. So for example, at the start, it says, hey there fellow content creators, Nick here, and welcome back to my channel where we're all about creating better content. Today's video, we've got a treasure chest of 14 ChatGPT tips and so on. So all I've said is I change the tone of voice of this script to be really warm and friendly. And then as requested, it's changed the tone of voice of the entire script. It says, hey there, my fellow content creators. It's Nick and I'm thrilled to welcome you back to my channel where we're all about crafting better content. In today's video, we've got a fantastic collection of 14 chat GPT tips tailor-made just for you. So as you can see, it's a lot warmer, a lot friendlier, and it can really change the overall feel of your entire video. Here's another one of my favorite tips that I discovered recently. You can literally use chat GPT to quickly and easily create PDF guides that you can give to your subscribers with a video just to add that extra bit of value. Now, I actually have a PDF guide with this video. There's a link down below and it'll give you all the tips and the corresponding prompts that I've talked about. But if you wanna create your own PDF guide for your YouTube videos, all you have to do is just copy and paste the transcript of your video into ChatGPT and then literally just ask it to give you a document that you can turn into a PDF for your subscribers. So here again, I've got the video transcript from one of my videos copied it, pasted it into ChatGPT, and I've literally typed in, here's a transcript of a video I created, create a document for me based on the script that I can give to viewers as a PDF that will add extra value to the video. Hit enter, and then it's given me basically a summary of the key points in the video. And this is essentially kind of like a check to make sure this is information you want in your PDF. And from there, I've just said, turn this into a document with relevant formatting that I can copy and paste into a PDF document to share with subscribers. The idea is that the PDF will be like a written guide about all the information I talked about in the video. And then as requested, it's literally given me the formatting and everything. It's divided it up into sections and I could literally copy and paste this into a document, add some images and maybe expand on the points a little bit and then share that as a PDF with my subscribers. Now, as promised, here's the bonus tip. And that is to use ChatGPT to apply wisdom that you've learned online to your specific context. Now, I watch heaps of content when it comes to being productive, business, health, all that type of stuff. And some of the stuff I listen to can be so jam packed full of advice. It can be a little bit overwhelming knowing how to apply it to my own life. All right, so here's a video from Film Booth 
highly recommend this guy if you don't already know him. But all you have to do is just hit this little icon here and then go show transcript. And then the transcript will show up just down here. Just hit show transcript. And then here it is. All you have to do is just again, copy. Now go back to ChatGPT, paste in the transcript, and then just say, summarize the key things I can learn from this video transcript. And then here you go. It's giving me the main key points that Ed makes in the video. And if I want to take it to the next level, I can say, show me how I can use this information for my own channel. And then it will literally give me information on how I can apply all those different tips and tricks to my own content. But before you start scripting anything in ChatGPT, make sure you check out this video here where I share what I would do if I was studying my entire YouTube channel from scratch in 2023. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.